Welcome to the Handyman's Haven. Now in this project what we're going to do is we're going to build uh, which is essentially a crane to lift a person into the hot tub. It's for a neighbor of mine, good friend Randy, and uh, he's confined to a wheelchair and uh, this is to help him get into his hot tub on his deck. He uh, currently uh, kind of climbs into the, into the hot tub which he can do from his chair uh, and get in but when he's trying to get out of the hot tub he's wet, he's slippery and uh, it's very dangerous for him to try and transfer from the hot tub to the chair without risk of falling. So the reason I'm posting this project is that uh, if you have uh, a need for a hoist or uh, something to lift somebody into or out of a hot tub or any other facility this is something you can have built uh, by uh, anyone that can use a, a welder and uh, I'm going to post the plans and the design and I'll walk you through the whole project and uh, we'll see what the final results are. I was approached by Randy to try and uh, build this project for him because the cost of these uh, particular items is exorbitant. Uh, I'm not saying they're not worth what they, uh, what they charge for them but it's just a lot of money and in his particular case he almost needs a custom uh, hoist made for himself because of the where it is and the situation so that's what we're going to do. We'll go over the materials right now for you. Now what I use to build this uh, hoist is uh, thin wall tubing right here. This is inch and a half by uh, one sixteenth wall. It's fairly light um, let me get my wall thickness here. Yeah, it's 1 16th. It's light tubing, but the way I designed this and engineered it is that this would be more than adequate to support the weight we have to carry. And in some cases, I use a little bit more uh, reinforcing. Uh, I've got some inch and three quarter tubing here, 1 8th wall, so it's a little heavier, as you can see. Here's our 1 16th wall. And uh, I, at a critical point, I've reinforced the thinner tubing with the thicker by simply laminating the two together with the larger, stronger tubing over top of the thin wall for the critical point where the actual uh, winch is that'll carry the load. This was a fairly challenging project for me, um, mainly designing it and uh, engineering it where it had to go in his sun deck. It had to fit in a particular spot and uh, still be usable and able to swing. And you'll see that as we go along. So uh, let's carry on here and uh, let's get on and I'll show you the, uh, the start of the assembly of the tubing going together. Before we go to the actual parts and show you how we're going to weld them all together, I'd like to go over the plan here with you. So the plan is to build this swing stage or crane right beside the hot tub. Now if we go down and start at the bottom here, right here on the bottom, there's a concrete slab with a wooden deck built approximately two feet above that in which the hot tub sits partially embedded in the deck and this distance here is approximately two feet from the top of the hot tub to the deck so we have to lift Randy from his wheelchair up and over the edge of the hot tub and lower him down into the hot tub. So we begin here at the bottom. There's two collars. There's one at the bottom fastened directly into the concrete. There's one on the wooden deck with a pin through it to keep it from uh, rising up. The main column is fastened to the wall of the garage. The garage wall is right here. We have two, one at the top one at the bottom with a kind of a, a Y design to keep it from swinging the main shaft here from swinging side to side. The only thing we want to swing is this area here and here which is the swing stage. Now on the end of the swing stage we have a winch with a hook and a remote control and the hook attaches to a, a canvas or webs sling that Randy sits on in his chair. It wraps around his body and hooks onto this hook here 
and then he can operate the uh, the winch lifting mechanism with his remote or somebody can do that for him. All he has to do is get himself high enough over the edge of the hot tub and he can grab the edge of the hot tub right here and swing himself over. Now this fits up right underneath the at the top here the house eave comes out and then on top of that or fastened to the eave is the sun deck roof. So we got to keep our tolerances and our clearances here at the roof and also so that the swing stage can swing underneath the sun deck roof without touching it. Okay, that about sums it up. We'll uh, go to the actual uh, fabrication of the swing stage and let you see how that's coming together. Here's the layout on the floor. It's rather a large project so it's tough to do standing up but anyway we have the main post running up on the left side here next to the bar clamp and then there'll be a brace in here. This is actually a triangle. You can see the, the triangle here that will be uh, welded up and then it the whole triangle will rotate on hinges. Maybe get a better shot at the other end here. Okay, there's a pin through the uh, upper bar and a pin through the lower bar. And inside that bolt, there's a piece of steel tubing that the bolt runs through and is welded to the tubing so that the bolt is never pulling on the tubing itself. It's, it's on an, a, a kind of a bushing or insert in there. So I'm just getting my angles right here. This has got to be cut off. The, uh, the winch is going to mount in here from 52 inches back to this brace. And uh, that will form our triangle. Put a little bit more reinforcing in it, but that's the start of it. And we'll catch up with you later and show you the, uh, the progress as we go. So here we've got the unit laid out in the driveway. Here's the collar right here that it sits on the deck, wooden deck with a pin through it. You can see our braces on the back side. This is going to fasten right through the uh, garage wall and help support the braces. This is a stabilizer at the top to keep it from swinging from side to side. There's a good shot of the hinge. Here we have the swing lift entirely built and installed. There's the collar going through the floor with the pin in it. There's our braces to the wall to keep it from swaying side to side. And that's also fastened right through the wall on ready rod, right through into the inside of the garage. There are the swing lifts fully installed. We've got the winch on it. Try it out just before we take it all apart again and paint it. Let her rip. <laughs> of course, I got you in the picture. You're going to want royalties now. Yep. <laughs> right up so it stops automatically. Perfect. Well, we've got everything laid out. It's just a beautiful sunny day and we're getting everything painted here. It's uh, funny when you try to paint something, you're trying to figure out where you're going to hang everything so it doesn't touch and stabilize in case you get a little breeze. Here I got this hanging off the bird feeder. That sawhorses out. I had it tied back to the fence so it wouldn't swing so I could get a good job of putting a coat of paint on. There's the bases being suspended. Anyway, it worked out very nice. We had a beautiful day for painting. Got the job done. So in this clip, we're going to have it pull me right deadlift right off the floor. 
hate to say it, but I'm almost 210 pounds here. And Randy's just a fraction of my weight, so if it'll lift me, it'll lift him without any problem. And it doesn't seem to even flinch, although the cable ran over itself here. It jerked a little bit, but it was because I was holding it to one side. Here we have it. She's all uh, installed. She's painted. It's reinforced to the wall. And he will get many, many years of uh, trouble-free use out of this because it's all protected from the weather. It's under his deck. Very pleased with this nice The project is uh, complete. It works well and Randy is very happy and it's a safe exit and entry for his hot tub form. If you have any questions, just email me or make some comments. I'd be glad to try and help you out if I can. And it saved him a whole lot of money.